Welcome back. I'm MTG Joe, and we have a fun one for you today with Teamer Drakes. So we took the traditional uh, blue-red Drakes deck and thought we'd add everyone's favorite Jellyfish Hydra Beast, Hydroid Krasis to the mix. Uh, by splashing green in the main board, we just add the Krasis. The rest of the deck's pretty standard. Of note, we aren't playing Enigma Drake. Uh, in place of the Hydroid Krasis, we're also playing uh, two of Niv. Uh, the rest of the deck is pretty standard. Uh, mana base changes, uh, two Rootbound Craig, two Stomping Grounds, three Breeding Brutals, Hinterland Harbor. Uh, really just trying to keep up this, what I have in terms of these uh, Teamer rail, Rare Duels, uh, just to hit the number there. Uh, out of the sideboard, we have two Disdainful Stroke, three Negate for the uh, control matchups, two Cinder Vines, which is a nice addition, uh, especially against like Nexus decks that try to loop. Uh, two Fiery, fiery Cannonades against more uh, Weenie-style decks. Two Crushing Canopies, which is good for the Mirror, Lyra decks, or anything with enchantments. The deck has a hard time dealing with enchantments. Uh, one Ral and two Bane Fires. So this will be the first time taking the deck out for a spin, so we'll see how it plays out. So a friendly reminder for those new to the to viewing, if you haven't done so already, a great way to support the channel that costs you absolutely nothing is to just hit the subscribe button down here at the bottom. I'll give you notifications whenever new videos come up, and it just helps me to keep building up the channel. I'm uh, still somewhat newer to streaming uh, and content creation, so it goes a long way to just helping me build up my audience. Uh, so we'll play first here. Uh, so don't have much interaction. But I think we try to keep it here. We can put Bander here. They have the Elf. A Shock would be really good here. Uh, we'll just attack. And play the Steam Fence tapped. And play Op Terramander. So opponent looks to be on some sort of likely Saltai rock. Uh, here, I'll just get the green source in tapped. We're holding up Spell Pierce, so we can play Crackling Drake next turn. They can. Vivian, the Spell Pierce here feels really good. So we'll attack for two here, and play out the drake. So if we could dodge removal for one turn, we can hold up the spells uh, to dive down. They play the branch walker. And to another branch walker. So cannonade would be good to bring in against this deck. Drawn basically nothing but lands this game. Have it enter tapped. Just attack in with everything here. So we've gone down to 10. The 1 1 flyers are slowly getting there. So we'll dive down here. Protect the Drake. This does allow us to transform one next turn as well. So here, as long as we put something else into the graveyard, it's free. So Still think we do that. Wow, there's tons of lands. 
So by doing that, we have lethal, and we can take them out. So probably didn't even need to do the discovery there. All right, so this looks like some sort of Saltai build. Entrancing Melody is good here. Fiery Cannonade. Bring in some Negates. Some Disdainful Strokes. Uh, don't think Niv's that great in this matchup. The shocks are pretty good. We got to cut six. So they have the explore package. Merfolk Branch Walker gets pretty big. We'll see about the cannonades. Lava coils might be. Actually, let's shave down two. Oh, you know what? Let's go down. A couple of spell pierce and bring in the negates and bring in one cannonade. Or I like the cannonades because we can hold up counters and if not, wipe the board. The shocks will deal with a lot of their early threats. Still trying to figure out sideboarding with this deck. Literally just put it together before the video. They posted a similar list on SCG. Uh, the main board is pretty much like for like minus some um, changes to the mana base just for what we have on Arena right now. The sideboard I changed up a bit. Uh, they had Sailor Means, which I guess is just a ramp out Niv, but I feel like you need some more control. They weren't playing any negates in the side. With Splash and Green, you can play Cinder Vines, which I think is a really underplayed card. Uh, we'll try this hand out. So, opponent Branch Walkers here. Crisis, a bin, so we'll just opt here. Uh, I like having the threat. So here we need to decide if we want to bring out the Pteramander or just chart a course. I think we just chart here. If we are going to cannonade, it doesn't make much sense to basically play it out to just die. We're far off from transforming it. Jade Light. So hopefully they draw one land. Play Eldest twice. So here... I think we go Terramander and just chart a course again. We will discard the chart a course. The cast down here. So we can Lava Coil, or we can Drake. And come up. I think we just Lava Coil for now. On four, they're less likely to have something than on five. All their walkers come down on five. Most of these lists don't play Vraska. So they have another Jade Light, so hopefully just draw a land. Okay, so it keeps it at two toughness here. So we can cannonade with backup there for the Eldest Reborn. So 
So here, just pay two life last turn. So we'll cannonade here, and then we have the negate. If they play something small, we can also shock it. So we'll negate the Vivian here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So we can adapt it if need be and hold up the stainful stroke. It's last turn. So they'll be able to pick off the stroke here, which is unfortunate. They are missing a land. So we'll just adapt here. They have the cast down. Here we'll play Discovery. Bottom both. Player Pteromander and pass turn. So they'll play the Boat Reborn here. Not the best. So we'll just shock them here. They're going to make us discard anyways, and we're playing the Drake next turn. Play our Drake here. Hang on to this to see what we draw. So we'll hang on for now. The Charter Course could be useful. So they need to have some sort of removal. OK, so Crisis is really good for them here. It's large enough that they can trade, but we can play through it. So we'll discard the land here. So here we'll attack and then dive down to protect. So this will basically force them to get Vivian out to down tick and kill our drake and then we can play a follow-up drake oh they have the ravenous chupacabra as well into another ravenous chupacabra so it looks like they got this one We can lava coil here, take two, trying to draw some protection. If we could drop even a dive down, yeah, they just play the crisis though. So I think they got this one. We'll see what we draw, but. We're pretty much out of range here. They duress us. We get an opt. Trancing melody is pretty nice. So we take care, take theirs. 
So this forces them into the Chupacabra. They do have the Vivian though to kill the Drake. They get aligned. Play with Crackling Drake. 17 power. Last turn. They have a cast down, Vivian Ultimate. Yep, they got it. So, I think we run it back. I don't think this is enough to bring it for the crisis. Rouse fine. Maybe just to diversify the threats. Bring in Rao. Rao does get hit by duress where the drakes don't, but it looks like they brought in a bunch of cast downs. We'll play first. Keep. Play with the Pateramander. Opponent is to the bottom after their mall. They have an elf here. They duress us. So it'll be interesting to see what they take. So they might have removal. So here we'll attack. And just play out a second Pateramander. Does make the cannonade a bit worse. But unless they like really overextend Chart of course here is good. Uh, let's play the land to hold up blue just in case. Spell Pierce is nice. We can Drake next turn. And two instants in the graveyard. So let's attack. So the decision here is if I think we still put out the Drake, it at the least it cycles and it can block. And then next turn we can hold up Spell Pierce for their five drop. They have cast down, that's fine. So here, let's opt. Uh, I think we're fine with the opt on top. Stack with both. It's three, four, five, six, seven. So next turn, we could turn them on. And we'll pass the turn. So either way, we'll get to four in the graveyard so we can flip one of them. So they have Raxka's Contempt here. We'll spell Pierce. So this saves it plus prevents him from gaining the life. Disdainful Stroke's also really good here. So the ops here is free. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So it's three to cast it, plus we can hold up stroke. Uh, this is still free. Bottom that. We have the shock. So just shock the branch walker. 
So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Shock is seven. So let's transform one. Pay two life and in the turn. So we can disdainful stroke this. They'll gain the life, but they don't get the body. And we win. So it was a good showing for the deck. I like the. We didn't really get to cast the Krasis here, but I feel just like the option there was pretty good. Uh, and I think this deck is matched up pretty well against. Oh, sweet. Needed that for White Weenie. I uh, needed that against like uh, the Saltai mix. So we'll come back with another match uh, in a separate video. But make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, and have a good one.